Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi, I'm Semantics, and today we have a very tricky challenge, 1 to the x equal to 3. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is absolutely impossible, 1 to the x every time is equal to 1, so how is it possible right here we have 3? And my answer is, in math everything is possible. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. So when we apply natural log on both sides, so on the left side, natural log 1 to the x equal to natural log of natural log of 3. Right now we know that this x will come down right here because this is the main log property. As a result we have x times natural log 1 equal to natural log 3. Right now let's divide both sides by this natural log 1. When we divide both sides by natural log 1, uh, what do we have as a result? We will have x times natural log 1. We divide this thing by natural log 1 and equal to natural log 3 dividing by nature log 1. Right now we can easily cancel this nature log 1 at this nature log 1, yeah, right here, and as a result we will have the next thing. We will have x equal to nature log 3 over nature log 1, yeah? And nature log 1 equal to 0, and this is very tricky moment right now. In math we need, we know that we can divide by 0, and as a result nature log 3 divided by nature log 1, we can divide this expression, so as a result we can easily say that no real, no real solutions right here. And okay, okay, I answered to my students, okay, we don't have real solutions, so this is really bad, but we also can solve this challenge in terms of complex numbers, okay? For this challenge, we need to create a complex unit, but how can we create this complex unit? First of all, I wanted to write this Euler's identity. This is really important moment right now because we are going to do a very simple steps right here and I hope you will understand this explanation. First of all, I want to write this Euler's identity. If we have e to the power i times theta, yeah, equal to cosine theta, yeah, plus i times sine Data. Why this, why this uh, identity is really great for us? Because it opens us a door with the complex unit. We have right here complex unit and as a result we know that right here we don't have real solution. So let's try to, let's try to create this complex expression, ex expression with the complex unit. So this is an absolutely correct expression. We can also check this expression, for example, theta equal to zero. And as a result, what do we have right here? e to the power i times zero equal to cosine zero yeah, plus i sine 0, okay? So this is absolutely correct thing, because right here we will have e to the e to the power 0 equal to 1, right here we have 1, and right here we have 0. So this is, this expression is absolutely, absolutely correct. Right now I suggest you to write a substitution. So instead of theta, let's write this substitution. This is a little bit notes about this Euler's identity, but right now we are going to mm, apply a substitution right here. First of all, this substitution looks like that. So theta equal to 2k pi, okay? And k is z, obviously, yeah, k is z, and of course k is equal to 1, 2, 3, and a lot of this, a lot of this value. So instead of theta, let's plug in this expression. In this identity, let's plug in this expression. As a result, what do we have right here? e to the power i times theta equal to 2k pi equal to cosine 2k pi 2k pi and plus i sine 2k pi okay this is our expression after this substitution so this is this is a great substitution for us because we have a complex unit right now let's write this expression in terms of k, okay, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, and let's see what will happen, okay? So first of all, for k equal to 1, so when k equal to 1, what do we have as a result? We will have e to the power i times 2 pi equal to cosine 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi, but in the same way, we know that cosine 2 pi equal to 1. So right here we have we have 1. And sine 2 pi equal to 0. So this expression equal to 0. As a result, this expression equal to equal to 1. Okay? When k equal to 1, this expression equal to 1. Right now, for example, for k equal to 2. Okay? For k equal to 2. What do we have as a result? We will have e to the power i times 4 pi equal to cosine 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi. 
really great. And right now, cosine 4 pi, this is a, a function with, with a period right here, so we're going to 2 pi, 4 pi, and as a result, we have the same, the same one. And right here, we have the sine 4 pi equal to 0. So as a result, this expression equal to 1 plus 0 equal to 1. We will have the same one. Really great. Right now, let's check once more. So let's go with k equal to 3. Let's look what happened there. So for k equal to 3, what do we have as a result? e to the power i times 6 pi equal to cosine 6 pi, yeah? And plus i sine 6 pi. Really great, but in the same way, cosine 6 pi, this is a function with the periods of 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi equal to 1, and sine 6 pi equal to, equal to 0. So as you can see, 1 plus 0 equal to, equal to 1. And as you can see, this expression on the left side equal to 1, when k equal to 1, 2, 3, and the same situation will be with the, with the 4, 5, 6, 7, it will be like a period, 6 pi, 8 pi, uh, 10 pi, 12 pi, yeah? And right now we can easily see one really interesting pattern right here. So this expression on the left side, when k equal to 1, 2, or 3, or 4, or like 100, 200, every time is equal to 1 on the right side. So our final notes from this Euler's identity, which is really important right now, e to the power i times this 2k pi, 2k pi, equal to, equal to 1. We proved this before, but k is not like a real number. k is integer, yeah? k, we are talking about integers, so k is, is 1, 2, 3, 4, and a lot of these a lot of these elements. And right now, the main moment, why I create this complex part right here? This expression equal to 1 when k equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in the beginning, we had what equation? We have 1 to the x equal to 3. So right now, let's plug in, instead of this 1, let's plug in this expression. We proved it before, that this expression, when k is 1, 2, 3, 4, equal to 1. So right now, let's consider this, this equation uh, so let's in write this one, let's write this e to the power i times 2k pi, let's write this expression instead of 1, when k is 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's do this right now. As a result, what do we have right here? e to the power i times 2k pi to the power x, we need to raise this to the power x, yeah? Equal to, equal to 3, okay? So after this complex part, we're going to plug in this expression instead of this one, okay? So we have something like that, but k is k is 1 2 3 and 4 don't forget about this we don't know what will happen when when k is real number when k is like a rational number we don't know about it okay so right now let's let's solve this equation we can easily find our x first of all let's mm, multiply our powers as a result what do we have right here we have e to the power i times 2k pi and times x equal to equal to 3. How can I solve this equation? Let's apply natural log on both sides. As a result, as a result, what do we have right here? We will have natural log e to the power i times 2k pi x equal to natural log, natural log 3. Right now, this all power will come down right here. So as a result, <coughs> as a result, what do we have right here? We will have i times 2k pi x times natural log e equal to natural log natural log 3. Really great. This one equal to 1, so we don't need this right now. And let's divide both sides. Let's divide left and right side by i times 2k pi. So let's divide both sides by this, this expression. So when we divide <coughs> on, the, on the left side, i times 2k pi, and we need to divide all of the thing by the right side, i times 2k k pi. From here we can easily cancel this and as a result we will have only our x. So on the left side we have only our x. From here our x equal to... What do we have right here? We have nature log 3 divided by this expression. So nature log 3 divided by i 2 k pi. We can easily multiply both sides by i. We have right here i, we don't need this i in our denominator, so let's multiply both sides by i. And keep in, in your mind that i square equal to minus 1, okay? So when we divide this numerator by i and denominator by i, right here we'll have our minus 1. So as a result we have minus, so x equal to minus, natural log 3 times i, natural log 3 times i, and divide all of the thing by 2k pi, okay? 
to k pi. And the main thing right here, k is not equal to zero, obviously. k is our integer. So k is in the set of the z and k equal to one, two, three, because in these points, our expressions right here gives us one, okay? Because, for example, k equal to 1.5, we don't know what will happen in this, in this case. In our case, we know everything about this part, k equal to one, two, three, and four. So we hope you understand this explanation. This is like not the general question in terms of math. You you can't see this question a lot because this is like a tricky question. This is like a question according to a complex number. This is not a um, uh, this question is not uh, like in a school book a lot because this is not like a question you can see this question often because this is a very tricky challenge. This is not a general question. There is no like approach a good approach right here. This is like a notes for me about complex numbers. Yeah, and we can also solve this challenge like that in, a, in terms of complex numbers. But you can't see this challenge a lot in a school book right here because this is not a general question. This is not like a general approach right here, like for example, quadratic equation, you will solve it according to discriminant x first and second. Right here, we don't have, we don't have our, our approach basically because this is like not a general question. This is like a tricky question, this is like a relaxing question, maybe someone like complex numbers, someone don't know, don't know, uh, or want to know about this root right here, how is it possible that 1 to the x equal to 3, so for that this is my explanation to this challenge. So we can also write a question, write your thoughts about it, because a lot of students, a lot of teachers, a lot of approaches, it will be really interesting to read about it, and thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos!